Hi everyone, this episode is just to address three quick things before we move on to animating the character. So the first thing I want to talk about is the character's toes. Currently he doesn't have any, and initially I thought this would be okay, but when I was working on the animation episodes, uh, I really didn't like the way that the walk and run animations looked without the ability to bend the character's toes. So we're going to add that in now. So let's select the armature object and just press tab to go into edit mode. And we can zoom in on the feature and just select the ends of these two foot bones. And from side view, I'm just going to press Z uh, to go into wireframe mode so I can see what's going on a little better. You can then press G and Y to just move these bones back along the Y axis. And then E to extrude them out to form the toe, uh, the toe bones. Now let's select each of these. Go over here and just rename this toes.l and the right toes will be called, of course, toes.r. All right, now selecting the mesh object, let's go into the object data, and we've got all of these vertex groups here, uh, each of these corresponding to one of the bones. If you remember, these were created automatically when we parented the mesh to the armature. But now, since we've uh, just added these bones in now, after having already parented it, we're going to have to create these toe vertex groups manually. So just press the plus icon to add a new empty group over here. Double click to rename that. Let's call it toes.l. Make sure the name is exactly the same uh, as the name of the bone, otherwise it's not going to work. And then let's add in a second group and call this toes.r. All right, quickly going to edit mode on the mesh here. Let's just press Control R and add in a new loop cut somewhere over here, uh, just so we've got some more vertices to work with when we're assigning weights uh, to the toe bones. Okay, now let's select the armature and press Control Tab or use this little menu here to go into pose mode. And now we want to go into weight mode on the uh, mesh. So let's select the mesh and press Control tab we're now in weight paint mode and because we were in pose mode previously we can select the bones and uh, you can see that the foot bone currently has all of the vertices of the foot assigned to it while the toe bone has got no vertices assigned to it so let's fix that let's select the foot bone here and then press tab to go into edit mode on the mesh and we're just going to select uh, all of these vertices here and just remove them from foot.l. So we can see now this only controls the uh, back part of the foot and then selecting the toes we can go into edit mode again and assign those vertices to the toes. So now uh, we can waggle the toes a bit. Uh, currently it's uh, not deforming very nicely at this sort of split over here so what we can do, if we go into edit mode again, let's just select this edge loop, that's alt right click uh, to select the whole edge loop. And then uh, with the toes vertex group selected, let's set the weight to 50%, so just 0.5 and assign that there. So that's turned green now. And then selecting foot.l, we can select the other edge loop and just assign that to foot.l with 50%. So now, if we try this out, the deformation should be a little bit smoother. It's not perfect, but uh, you can play with that if you want to get a little bit better. But for our purposes, I think that's going to be just fine. So uh, to undo the rotation we've made on the bones here, let's just select them all and Alt-R. Okay, so that was thing number one. Thing number two is specifically for those of you who want to import this character into the Unity game engine. Uh, there are a number of requirements for our rig to be considered humanoid, and at the moment there's just one that we're not meeting, and that is that the foot bone needs to be parented to the leg bone. Uh, if you recall at the end of the last episode, I made it so that the foot bone was parented to the IK bone, which just means that we've got a handy way of controlling uh, both the foot and the leg uh, with just one bone, so we don't have to switch between them. So if you want your rig to be considered humanoid by the Unity game engine, we're going to have to relinquish that ability. 
go to select the bone here in edit mode, shift right click to select the lower leg bone, control P, and parent connected. Same thing with the right leg over here. All right, so now if we want to rotate the foot, we have to actually rotate the foot bone. Rotating the IK bone does nothing anymore. Now, one thing I like to do in this case is to just uh, go over here into the bone settings and turn off inherit rotation for this foot bone and uh, for the one on the right as well. This just means that when we move the leg around, the foot remains uh, completely flat or whatever angle we set it at. And that can just avoid some minor annoyance when we're animating. But just to be clear, if you're not importing this into Unity, then don't do any of that. All right, let's reset our bones, Alt-R, Alt-G. And that concludes thing number two. So thing number three is entirely optional. Uh, it's just to add some color to the character. I'd like to make the left side of the character blue and the right side of the character green. This just makes it a little bit clearer when we're animating from the side, which arm goes with which leg and so on. So we're going to want to go onto the spanner here with the mesh selected in object mode. And we're going to apply the mirror modifier. And then going into edit mode, let's just select everything on the left of the character, or rather on the character's left. Uh, so just grab all of these, just selecting each thing with L. And then in the materials, let's create a new material. And you can set this, uh, I can't remember if I said the left would be blue or green, but it doesn't matter. Just assign that. And then I'm going to select the right side here. Okay, create a new material for that. Set this to green. And just assign it to those vertices. All right, we can maybe just make the rest of the body here. I don't know, maybe some sort of red, orangey red. That's maybe a little bit intense. I'll just tone it down ever so slightly. Something like that should be good. Yeah, that looks nice. So that is everything for this episode. Until next time, cheers.